And for dozens of Connecticut residents, today was one of the most important days of their lives as they became naturalized American citizens at a ceremony in Groton. Max Reese has the story new at 530. For 19 people, getting certificates that make them American citizens is a milestone. Azar Bula is in the Marines and even served a tour of duty in Afghanistan. Born in Panama, he was raised in Miami. It didn't uh, seem like a, big, uh, like a big deal before. I mean, I, I joined right out of high school, uh, did four years, went overseas, and for, for people to appreciate that, it's uh, really, really big for me. These new citizens come from 16 different countries and 17 Connecticut cities and towns all over the state. Now to see them sort of um, double down on that with uh, becoming a, a full citizens is, um, you know, again, it's just a, a great uh, reminder of what a special country we are. For others, American citizenship unites a family. Michael Turner serves in the Coast Guard. His wife earned her citizenship today. She was born in Estonia. It's great. I'm really proud. Um, I know it's a, it's a decision that one doesn't take very lightly. Today, the family goes home as Americans. What does it mean to become a U.S. citizen, especially coming from, from Estonia? What does it mean? That's a, that's a very good question. Let me think about it for a moment. I think for us, since my husband is a U.S. citizen, my daughter is a U.S. citizen, we are now almost like on the same umbrella. A short ceremony that leads to new lives as American citizens. In Groton, Max Reese, NBC, Connecticut News.